was like the woke Arati is losing their minds at another celebrity again as Vince Vaughn is seen here at the national championship game shaking the hand of President Trump. And this leftist from Deadspin is losing his damn mind. I'm very sorry to have to share this video with you. All of it. Every part of it. Dude, are you shocked that Vince Vaughn is a libertarian? He's one of the most well-known right-wing celebrities out there. Look. He's a very big fan of Ron Paul. Ron Paul, like, I'm a fan of Ron Paul myself. He woke up a, a lot of people up to the fact that the government can't handle everything for you. Which I realized in 2012, 2011. Once you get to start playing that game, where does it stop? I like it the way it, it was until 1913. When you locally had sales taxes and property taxes. That seemed ethical to me. Because I can move to a different neighborhood area if I like the service they provide. Which is kind of like the way I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? Like a fair tax. Instead of the unfair taxes we have now. But for anybody that actually pays attention to celebrities and politics. It's well known Vince Vaughn is a Ron, Ron Paul supporting libertarian. I mean... He was one of the few celebrities that had his eye roll during Meryl Streep's anti-Trump speech at the 2017 Golden Globes. They're like, you're full of shit. <laughs> He's like, girl, you are completely full of it. <laughs> Oh man, I find it hilarious like a lot of folk on the left are like going to cancel somebody who's well known as a libertarian celebrity. So he's going to support a lot of things Donald Trump has done. But yeah, there is some pushback to this. Oh, but there's one. Obama Netflix. <laughs> I am legit disappointed. Well, that's someone who realized he's always been a libertarian celebrity. Exactly. What is the problem with Vince Vaughn being a somewhat Trump supporter? You know what I'm saying? People have the right to support who they want to support. I mean, I personally don't really support Donald Trump myself. Like, I like a few things he does, but I also hate a few things he does. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like either or. Like, I give him praise when he does something good. And I'll shit on him when he does something wrong. You know what I'm saying? Called balls and strikes. That's the way I do it. Not like no Trump cultists where I defend everything Donald Trump does. Or I'm like a TDS, Trump Derangement, Trump Derangement Syndrome hater who hates everything Trump does. Like a lot of these Hollywood celebrities do. But yeah, imagine getting triggered over Vince Vaughn talking to Trump. This hysteria from the woke Roddy press, it's just... It's starting to get played out, as Ricky Gervais pointed out at the Golden Globes. That pretty much is starting a movement of Hollywood right-wingers coming out the closet. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, out here, it is harder to be a conservative or a libertarian than it is to be a minority. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's harder to be a conservative than it is to be a Muslim out of California. There's just a lot of intolerance to conservative or libertarian ideas you know what I'm saying it's like a very progressive type place well like Hollywood I mean not all Southern California because there's like conservative areas but yeah like right wingers are coming out the closet now you know what I'm saying and vocal vocally supporting Trump there's a there's a huge movement of uh conservative celebrities out here I mean there's Kevin Sorbo there's Dean Cain there's uh Angelina Lee's dad, um, uh, damn, damn, I forgot his name. <laughs> oh, damn, I forgot Angelina Jolie's pop's name. What is wrong with me? Damn, I completely forgot. But, yeah, he's a big one. James Woods, you got Rob Schneider. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you got Kirstie Swanson, she counts. Yeah, they're, they're, they're coming out of the closet, you know what I'm saying? 
Tim Pool might low key be a Trump supporter. Maybe Mel Gibson too. You know what I'm saying? Or like Sylvester Stallone. He was at the Trump. Uh, he was at the Trump inauguration, so he might be one. I mean, there's a whole lot of NFL players who support Trump too, like Tom Brady. Tom Brady supports Trump. Tony Romo went to his inauguration. Peyton Manning went golfing with Trump. Yeah, I mean, remember yeah, like Kurt Suzuki, like. He had a mega Trump uh, mega hat on, so yeah, it's not like it's not like it's rare to see like someone like vocal celebrity wise support Trump. Like like Kanye West, I feel basically started that whole pushback. You know what I'm saying? A pushback like a vocal celebrity supporting Trump, especially in this environment where it's basically. It is basically not socially acceptable to support Trump at all. And if you do, you'll get attacked. There's videos of people getting attacked supporting Trump out here in Hollywood. It's not a real tolerant place when it comes to Trump. I mean, like, his Hollywood star is out there and it gets stomped on, spit it on, the middle finger every single day. But... Yeah, to sum this all up, I mean, celebrities are coming out the closet with their support of Trump now. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad to, glad to see it. I mean, people had the right to support who they want. Yeah, I mean, this is classical liberalism to me, and I'm trying to open people up to classical liberalism again, away from this intersectionality feminist garbage. So, follow me on Twitter, JohnClem310. If you like this video, subscribe, and Share it around because it's going to be hard to have my videos shown on the algorithm. Alrighty, have a good night, y'all.